So let's make a staircase. So say here we have the base unit, whatever that may be. And then here we have NT, no way. And I'll go, and I'll just go as far as that. Okay. So kilo is there. So basically each step is going to represent one power up. Yes. Or one power below. Exactly. So like, okay. as you saw from the list before, the base is just 10 to the 0, or just 1. Mm -hmm. This is 10 to the negative 2, this is 10 to the negative 3. Okay. And then this, of course, is 10, 10 to the positive, positive 3. 3. Right. These, of course, are the most common prefixes you're working with. Right. So what I would do is that, so we're working with leaders. So the leader is a base unit, so I would start right here. Okay. And then we want to go to milliliters. Right. So what I do is I start here, and then I go a number of steps up or down, depending on you know where it is. So since milli is right here, I'm gonna go one, two, three. Okay. That now makes sense. with the step system, what you do is that if you're taking steps down, mm -hmm. you multiply it by that power of ten. So uh -huh. in other words, what I mean is that you take, you know, your one liter, and then you just multiply it by, I took three steps, one, two, three down, so that's ten to the three steps, so I multiply this one by ten to the three, I get one times ten to the three, which is also a thousand, and then it's milliliters. Okay, that makes sense. Now, so what about the other way? So, say we want to convert to kiloliters, which you'll never see, but for concept's sake, we'll work with it. Okay. So, we start at the base value again, one liter, mm -hmm. and then one, two, three. Okay. Still three steps, right. but this time we're going up. Okay. And when we go up, we divide by that power of ten, or in other words, uh -huh. we multiply it by that negative power of ten. Okay. So what that means is since I took three steps up, one, two, three, I'm going to multiply it by 10 to the negative three. Okay, so that's kind of confusing for me to look at the positive three and the negative three and all that. So yeah. I think it might be a little bit easier, at least the way I would look at doing it this way, is just say, like you were talking about, if I'm going up, I'm just going to divide. Yeah, so that's, that's, that's fine. You know, you can just do one liter divided by 10 to the third. Mm -hmm. And then you just get like one over a thousand mm -hmm. kiloliters or point zero zero one kiloliters. Just okay. like that. That makes sense. That's a little bit easier to deal with than those negative exponents. That that gets confusing. Yeah, that that's a fair point. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, that's two different ways you can work with it. You can either have the conversion rates in mind, or if it's not available, you can just use this handy staircase. Okay, I think this staircase, well, let's say that I'm in kiloliters and I want to go down to milliliters for some Ooh, reason. That's an interesting one. So okay. that means I'd be going down six steps. Okay. Right? So since I'm going down, I have to multiply. So that means I'd be multiplying whatever my number of kiloliters are by a thousand, right? Um, or not a thousand, but ten to the six. Yes, exactly. Yes. Brain fart. Nah, never mind me. <laughs> Don't listen to me. <laughs> yes. So to finally go the other way, if I'm all the way down here at milliliters, I want to go way up to kiloliters. Uh -huh. That's going up, so I divide by 10 to the 6th. That's correct. That's pretty simple. I like that. All right. All righty. Well, well, that's two different ways you can do it. Sounds good to me. Just fill around and see which one works best for you. Exactly. Practice. Mm -hmm. So, gigawatts. 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 Giga. 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 to generate the 1.21 gigawatts of electricity. 1.21 gigawatts!